Happy New Year, my nine cohort family, all my subscribers, and anyone else that's watching this video. Um, I'm just about over the fact now that Luke Skywalker's been made to drink out of an alien's tit. <laughs> I hope you guys are over it as well, if you're into that sort of thing. And what I'm here to talk about today is um, that basically it's coming up to winter nam time. You know, all the brands are sneaking out little previews of what is what we're going to see at NAM at the NAM show now Jackson have done it and they've tweeted out a bunch of headstocks um which you can see hopefully on behind me now there's 10 headstocks and because of the way the Jackson specs work and the series work they start at the low end the JS series they go to the X series then they go to the pro series and obviously you're into USA expensive models and because of the way the series work and the specs that are involved in those series is that, 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 that make them um, the DNA of what they are, you can kind of predict the rest of the guitar, even though they've only showed us the headstocks. Or at least, myself as a Jackson nerd, I'm going to try and predict what these are. If you're pretty much heavily into Jackson, you're going to be able to do this and you're going to do the same and it will be nothing new. Um, for me, I'm a Jackson in, in, endorser, I, I, I endorse Jackson guitars, so I'm more interested in Jackson than most other brands. So, let's go, let's start. Now, we're going to start from the right, <clears throat> the right hand side of the screen, and that is um, a Broderick headstock. First of all, that's the first thing I noticed that, that is very much like a Chris Broderick headstock. Now, he's already got some pro series and, and, and USA series is out. The only thing I can think of looking at his guitar um, is that this basically is probably a Broderick X series, which is good because I really love the Broderick soloists. I think they're fantastic guitars, and it did baffle me why there was Pro series but not X series Brodericks before. It's not got a Floyd on because we can see the nut, um, the plastic nut there, and yeah, that looks to me like it's going to be a neck through. Uh, Broderick X series. So let's move on now. Second from the right, that's a Chlorine Burst Pro Series. Straight away, I know that, and the reason I know that is because <clears throat> there is um, an ebony fretboard with a piranha tooth inlays. They're the smaller, um, the smaller like little fin inlays on the fret. Now the reason I know it's a, a pro series as well is because it's unfinished is the neck it's like oiled, lightly oiled and that's what Jackson do on their pro series. I'd say this is a soloist so it's probably a new, it's got a fly on we can see the nut so yeah the second one from the right is um, I would say a chlorine burst um, soloist in the pro series. The third one from the right, which is absolute stunning colour. I absolutely love that colour. I've seen that before on another Jackson, maybe last year's, I, I can't remember. I've seen that finish before. I can't remember what it's called, but it looks gorgeous. Like a, it's like a, a walnut-y um, <coughs> type colour, some kind of flamed uh, top on there. Um, that The same, that is a soloist, I reckon. It's a soloist from the, soloist from the Pro Series. The reason I know that, again, it's the Piranha Tooth Inlay on the Ebony board. It's got no fly on this guitar, it's a fixed bridge. Um, and that is a plastic nut on there, which gives gives away that there is no fly. Again, I'd say it's an unfinished oiled neck, because I can see that that's what it is, but it, the Pro Series is neck through. But what it actually does is, it's um, it, 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 it doesn't put much of a finish. There's only a light finish on the neck, so you don't get that sticky, glossy feel. And that's what I believe that guitar is. So moving along again, fourth guitar now <clears throat> from the right, the one that's slap bang in the middle. That is clearly that's probably the easiest one. You know, it's a it's a Jackson Monarch, is that? And it's a Pro Series. And the reason I know it's a Pro Series Monarch is because it has um, the ebony board and the trademark Monarch um, reversed shark for inlays, which are my favourite inlays. I had a Monarch and I really, really liked that Monarch a lot. Um, it's a lovely amber amber uh, finish on there. I, I, the Jackson will have their own name for that, but I'd say that that is, um, you know, some kind of amber, uh, quilted maple amber top on there. Again, uh, the neck is um, only lightly oiled, like all the Pro Series. So, yeah, that in the middle is a 
a monarch, a new colour, a new amber colour for the monarch. Um, moving on now to the fifth one from the right, which is the Jackson with the reversed headstock. Uh, now this one, I would say, I'm not entirely 100% on this, but I would say that that is a Mick Thompson, Mick Thompson from Slipknot, that is finally we're going to see his um, signature guitar, it doesn't look like it's a USA model, they've taken off the truss rod cover on that one, uh, the fifth one from, from the right, they've taken that truss rod cover off and I reckon they've taken that off because it says uh, Mick Thompson on it and they don't want you to know that, they want you to guess or watch this video. Well, they probably don't want you to watch this video, but... So, yeah, if you look down the binding, there's something very interesting there. There's no inlays on this guitar. It's a rosewood board, uh, and there's the, the the white binding that runs down has, like, almost like chessboard-type block um, inlays on, on the binding instead. That's something new, and it's nothing like anything on any jacks I've ever seen before. So what I would say is that that is definitely a signature model, and I'm going with Mick Thompson. He doesn't like Floyd's, but he likes. Um, a, he has a system on his Ibanez, as I did have, where he could fine tune them. Uh, he likes the fine tuning part of the Floyd, but he and he likes a locking nut on there. But he doesn't like, you know, a, a, a floating system on there. So I don't know what's down there. Um, now we do know Mick Thompson liked the old V shapes which Jackson used to do, I've forgotten what it's called now, there is the King V uh, which I like and I play but he, the V that he likes is a longer older model, I can't think what it's called but this could be either the V or it could be you know, just a, a standard dinky or solo shape, his Ibanez is what he used to use were just standard RG type shapes. So anyway, <clears throat> moving on now, uh, we'll start going from the left because I'm not awesome at counting. The fifth one from the left is, I would say, it's a Mission Monsoor USA uh, model, a new one. It looks like some kind of, uh, you know, again, a chlorine-type finish. Jackson called that colour chlorine. Um, he's gone for something really interesting. I don't know what that wood is, but it looks gorgeous. It looks very similar to the Guthrie Gove and Charvel model uh, on the on the fretboard there. It, it looks nice. It's a typical type of guitar that Misha would go for I know that, that is uh, very similar to the Misha headstocks what he likes the A he likes the AT headstocks which I'm a big fan of myself as well it looks like that is um yeah definitely that is a seven seven string let's move on now there's three guitars left there was four guitars left but three of them I'm baffled I'm baffled by totally I don't know they don't tie in with anything what's going on at the moment at Jackson so Let's see, um, we'll go from the fourth one in from the left. This is a rosewood board with typical Jackson shark fin inlays, which have been famous for for years. It's gloss blue on the back of there. There's white binding on it, it's gloss blue on the back of it. And I don't get it, I don't understand what that could be really because um, Jackson haven't put gloss on the back of there. It has to be some kind of neck through, I guess doesn't have to be, but I'm guessing it will be, um, because it's got gloss on the back of the neck. So, I don't know, is it is, is it a new model, maybe in the X-Series? I'm going for that that guitar fourth from the left, and the one that is third from the left, I'm going and saying that those two will probably be X-Series guitars that have gloss finishes on the back of the neck, possibly, you know, dinkies or soloists, maybe, could be even... Could be even Kelly's. Hmm. Could they be Kelly's? Don't know. They've baffled me, those two. Um, we did know that the, the X-Series did used to have um, some neck-throughs with gloss finishes on the back and standard Jackson headstocks. The X-Series that we're used to at the moment, uh, the soloists have AT-style headstocks on. So I, I don't know. <clears throat> I wonder if they're replacing the AT headstocks on the soloists with traditional ones. Who knows? We don't know. Anyway, second one from the left. That, again, I'd say... Um, this is another thing that makes me believe that these are Mick Thompson guitars, these two reverse headstock guitars. They've taken the truss rod cover off again. The inlays down the binding are exactly the same as the, the previous guitar, which we've talked about. Yeah, Mick Thompson, when he was at Ibanez, had a white guitar with black binding and a black guitar with white binding. It makes sense he'd do the same if that's what he likes personally at Jackson. 
again we don't know whether it's the V or the um, you know the, the the more traditional solar star dinky shape we don't know yet again it's got a locking nut on I, I would definitely say that is a Mick, Mick Thompson guitar the only other guy I know <clears throat> that uses reverse headstocks at Jackson is the guy from Cannibal Corpse can't think of his name off the top of my head um, he's maybe due a signature model so I don't know but I'd say that they are both Mick Thompson guitars and that's what we're expecting now the next guitar <clears throat> which is the first one on the left from the left hand side is bright orange we can see that it's a neon orange colour I love orange, orange is my favourite colour um, absolutely love it I don't know what this guitar is again I'm baffled because it's got no inlays only dot you know it's not, not got no Jackson trademark inlays it's only got dot inlays it's clearly a gloss on the back of the neck it could be a some new minion even I don't know I don't I don't know what frets I'd say were too big for a minion I'm a bit baffled by it I don't know what it is it's probably something new and that is why I'm baffled by it but it's definitely got a gloss finish on the back of the neck I would say that because it has a gloss finish on the back of the neck that <clears throat> it has to be a neck through and it probably is an X series don't think they'll do a neck through on the JS series I don't think they can afford to put that on there it would be good if they did I don't know who knows anyway that's it for now I'm going to come back with some uh, Charvel but I'm going to do a Charvel Nam style video what to what I think we could expect you know from them as well please like share uh, subscribe and more importantly on this video I really want to know what other Jackson nerds think um, of these guitars and if I've got anything wrong or you think I have please let me know in the comments and if you think I'm right about any of them <laughs> which I hope I'm right about some of them please please put that in the comments as well let me know what you think um, but there you go that's it let's see what happens at NAMM